So we're not going to talk spoilers, but we are going to be talking about Deadpool Wolverine. So me and Gray, we watched it last week and uh, we thought it was really good. Uh, I I really, really enjoyed it. I I consider it one of the better Marvel movies. It's probably the best. This is only going to be the only Marvel movie coming out this year. So this is, this is I would say, the best Marvel movie of the year, for sure, uh, in my opinion, right? <laughs> but the thing is, I guess there are a lot of people who are mad that this is doing really well. Did you... How gay is it? It's gay in good ways. It's gay in good ways. And it pokes fun of every at everything. It pokes fun of at Disney, Marvel, the fans, woke people. Um... It, it, le it totally leans into the gay stuff with Deadpool and Wolverine. And uh, I think it's funny. I think it's really good knowing that. It, I, I think the reason why the, the people who are mad online is because that this movie is going to cross a billion dollars. We, we already know that this movie, last time I checked, it has crossed $520 million. And it, I would say it's going to cross a billion dollars based off of the rewatch ability, the word of mouth. And the fact that it's not woke, there are woke elements in there, but it it's not woke messaging. And a lot of people really, really hate that these these type of movies, especially Deadpool and Wolverine, is carried not just by cameo, not just by the fact that people love these characters, but it's also carried by two straight white men. A lot of people are mad. I'm gonna read this article over here. It comes to us from Movie Web. Everything Deadpool and Wolverine did, She-Hulk did it better. This might have spoilers, so people who are in the chat, if you guys don't want spoilers, um, I would say just hop off for a little bit until I'm done reading this because this might have spoilers. Here we go. Deadpool and Wolverine has hit the box office smash hit grossing $211 million in its opening weekend, which made its sixth highest grossing opening weekend of all time and the largest for an R-rated movie. Many have claimed it has a big return to form for the Marvel Cinematic Universe after the box office disappointment of the Marvels, the underperformance of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and the disastrous reviews of Secret Invasion. Do you know what's also really bad too? She-Hulk is really bad. Indeed, the idea the MCU was in trouble was a bit blown out of proportion given the fact that there are Three, all three of the 2022 films were in the top 10 highest grossing movies of the year, but Deadpool and Wolverine seems to have won over fans. Now, here's the thing. If, yes, it's the highest grossing movies of the year, but the thing is, it's not the type of movie that was, it's not enough, it didn't generate enough movie that will save Marvel. The Marvel sucked. Ant-Man Quantumania sucked ass. Secret Invasion was garbage. I didn't. I couldn't even finish it. The only good movie that came out of Marvel in the past four years since the pandemic, in terms of MCU proper Marvel, I would say is Guardians of the Galaxy Three. Now, if you're if you're talking about um, No Way Home, that's technically MCU adjacent, so that doesn't really count. It does, but it doesn't really count since MCU does not get the entire um, bread. It, does, it, it does not get the entire entire cake right so um multiverse of madness wasn't that great either I, I in my opinion i think it's okay it became a wanda movie the cameos weren't great and now in deadpool and wolverine that's how you do cameos uh let's see deadpool and wolverine is threading a lot of fam a familiar ground and a large portion of the praise that fans have given it seems to be ignoring that the MCU already did something similar in tone and format and did it better. That is, of course, she she Hulk attorney at law. Fuck right off. Fuck right off, man. The thing is that if if, if she Hulk did it so much better, why isn't ha why hasn't it been announced that it's getting a season two? Whenever. A show does really well mid season around episode four to five you'll get like an announcement that they're gonna be doing a season five or season six or whatever show right for instance they already announced that they're gonna be doing a season two of one piece halfway into it same thing with um, what's it called again uh, house of the dragon same thing with uh, even even rings of power even though it was garbage it's, it's still announced that it was already getting a season two same thing with Velma why 
Has She-Hulk actually gotten an announcement that it's getting a season two? I don't think so. I haven't heard anything. She-Hulk attorney at law ran for nine episodes in 2022 and despite getting review bombed and garnered praise from critics and some high profile fans, she-Hulk, both the character and the series, was criticized for a lot of the same things Deadpool is doing and getting a lot of praise. Is it as simple as Deadpool and Wolverine doing it better or is it something else at work here? Deadpool and Wolverine did it better. Deadpool and Wolverine did it better. We do know that She-Hulk breaks the fourth wall. That's not anything new. But the thing is, the messaging that She-Hulk put out did not sit well with fans. And here's the thing. If you're going to make a strong female woman TV show, She-Hulk should have been a, a home runner. It should have been like a no-brainer. Everyone should have loved it. But what happened? You diminished the Incredible Hulk. You diminished the importance of his character. And you also diminished and took a shit on Daredevil and you basically made fun of the fans made fun of people who loved it and if you hated it you are biggest racist transphobe what have you everything in the book that's what you are called they're, they're just huffing on that copium man hopefully oh we're gonna get a season two nope no season two has been announced right she hulk is judged more harshly than deadpool On the surface, She-Hulk and Deadpool seems worlds apart, but the two characters have a lot in common. The biggest thing they have in common is that both characters break the fourth wall, speaking to the audience and seemingly being aware that they are fictional characters. While She-Hulk debuted in 1979, the first time she broke the fourth wall and addressed the reader was uh, late, a decade later in 1989. This was two years before Deadpool even debuted in Marvel Comics, yet Deadpool has become more known as the fourth wall breaking character. Do you know why? Because Deadpool knows the character was based off of another character from DC. She-Hulk for 10 years was like a f smart attorney female version of the Hulk that can do almost as good as the Hulk, right? In, in her base form, in Hulk's base form. Versus Deadpool, Wade Wilson, Slade Wilson, Deadpool, death stroke swords swords cool mask cool mask guns guns it knows what it took reference off of like deadpool was known to be a troll character that's what made him awesome and plus deadpool looks fucking cool they say what you will about rob liefeld deadpool looks badass he looks freaking amazing man like, I didn't even know who Deadpool... I had one of those OG X-Men trading cards. You know, the one that comes in the foil pack and you open it. I got a Deadpool one. I was like, who the hell is this character? He looks fucking awesome. I didn't even know who that character was. Let's continue. This even pertains to their powers in the film. Both She-Hulk and Deadpool don't gain the ability to break the fourth wall until after they get their superpowers. The MCU uses She-Hulk's fourth wall breaking ability as an expression of her inner monologue. And aside from one quick glance from the Hulk, nobody in the universe knows she is doing this. Meanwhile, Deadpool breaks the wall to communicate with the audience as both an inner monologue and a way to tell jokes, yet the other characters are semi aware of it yes and the thing is that if you had a competent writer i believe jessica gal was the one who did um she hulk right if you had a competent writer she hulk would have been great it's that simple she hulk would have been an, an amazing character everyone would have loved her but you guys screwed the pooch you guys talk shit about your fans eight Imagine talking shit about your core fan base and taking that and just, hey, we're going to sell our boy, our boy product to girls now. Right? Here's the thing. She-Hulk, in a lot of people's minds, including Gary, she's the hot character. She is the hot female character that was real, was, 
everyone had like a fantasy for her. Yeah, she can completely break my dick off using her Kegels while we're having intercourse, right? She can use her Kegels and break my tiny dick off, right? I don't care. The thing is, but now you made her into this like character that like technically didn't get her powers. Like basically she accidentally get her powers, right? Versus Hulk saving her because she was dying. Bruce Banner and the or, or the Hulk saves her to pr to protect her to make sure she, that she, she doesn't die. Versus this one, oops, blood accidentally falls into my mouth. Now I'm She-Hulk. And then I know I can control my feelings, not like you. What the? Why? Why? Let's continue, man. She hopes ability to break the fourth wall, particularly in the season finale, where she changes the ending, was said to break the MCU and not make sense. <laughs> it divided fans, yet nobody seems to have an issue with Deadpool breaking the fourth wall within the MCU. Nobody even took umbrage with Deadpool breaking the fourth wall in the Fox X-Men universe, and instead the film and character were praised for breaking the realities in those films. It's because we know that Deadpool is a fucking troll. According to the comics, he's like, he has sex with everything, right? He's a pansexual. He has sex with like a walk or some shit like that, right? But the thing is that the reason why Deadpool is important is because Deadpool, uh, Ryan Reynolds purposely leaked the test footage himself. And then he... Do you remember back in the day, like in what, in 2014, 2000, no, it was like 2012 or something like that, 2010. I think it might have been 2012 or 2014. There was a leaked footage of Deadpool, a test footage of the freeway fight. And then at the end, he says, hi, I forgot his name, right? He, he That's basically one of the executive producers at, at the time, I believe. And he leaked it himself. The movie got made. The movie was well well received by a lot of people it made a lot of money deadpool 2 came out that laid that made a lot of money frankly not enough and uh, i you know the test screening didn't do well with cable but the thing is that the movie did well but not as good as it should now after the after the what's it called the disney buyout we were like oh shit is disney marvel going to be making deadpool rated pg-13 right and they tested this with once upon a deadpool I watched this when I, when I was at the Fox lot, uh, probably like three days before the movie came out. I watched the one at, uh, Once Upon a uh, Deadpool. And the thing is that it neutered a lot of the cool jokes, the funny scenes from Deadpool 2. And it sort of, it wasn't really that great. The only cool parts were Freddy, uh, Fred Savage and Deadpool talking to each other. That's the only cool part. Everything else was like, not really that great. So knowing that you can't make a rated PG-13 movie, Deadpool, they're like, okay, we have to make a rated R movie. So the reason why this is huge is because Deadpool and Hugh Jackman, not the X-Men movies, Hugh Jackman himself, carried the X-Men Marvel franchise from Fox, right? And that's why this is huge. But Deadpool has always been this character where he, he would actually break the fourth wall so much, he would actually jump out of the comics and kill the writers for Deadpool. This is insane. A woman controlling her feelings. Interesting concept. Yeah, imagine, right? Both Deadpool and She-Hulk are also characters who are open about their sexuality. The first Deadpool establishes that he is open and free with his sexuality, constantly flirting with Wolverine and various other male characters. Uh, now, the thing is that he flirts with him in a gay way because it's funny. He's not doing this because he's gay, but the thing is that Deadpool will have sex with, like, a unicorn right but the thing is that everyone takes his uh deadpool sexuality so seriously the only person who doesn't take it seriously is deadpool himself yeah it's a it's an actual joke right he makes fun of gay people lesbian people he makes fun of them all the time all the time is because he he himself is a joke <sighs> she hulk attorney at law addresses the character's alter ego jennifer walters who struggles with dating yeah because she's awful she's awfully written in the MCU. She has three partners in the series leading a vocal minority to shut shame, slut shame her. 
in a way the series got ahead of it by making those people essentially the villains of the series yet deadpool is warmly embraced as being wacky silly hero because he is a wacky silly hero she hulk is not a wacky silly character not even close you're so far away in terms of where how wacky and silly uh she hulk is right and we're talking about the mcu here we're not talking about the comics oh man it does feel like deadpool is given more passes than she hulk yes is because the writers talk shit about the fans the actors talk shit about the fans that's it has ryan reynolds hugh jackman talk shit about the fans at all right has rob liefeld talk shit about the fans at all nope absolutely not i have never seen ryan reynolds hugh jackman or rob liefeld talk shit about their fans this is the scene right over here. You have Kevin Feige as the, the thing. She Hulk's jokes about the MCU felt more relevant while Deadpool's felt pandering. Fuck right off. Fuck right off. Jesus, man. She Hulk, attorney at law, and Deadpool and Wolverine have plenty of jokes that make about the MCU. It it is odd how people seem shocked that Disney and Marvel let Deadpool make such pointed jokes about them when two years prior, She-Hulk used same daring approach just without needing to use swear words or easy sex jokes to push the boundaries of Disney machine. Yet as a stance, both used their hero's fourth wall breaking abilities to make jokes and comments on the state of the MCU. The reason why it works is because Deadpool is a fucking joke. And the reason why She-Hulk's fourth wall breaking jokes did not work is because Jessica Gao is a fucking joke. She-Hulk attorney at law finale sees Jennifer Walters fed up with the plot lines on her show, breaks the fourth wall and moves into the viewer's reality and confronts both writers of the series and also Kevin and an AI that stands as a stand for Marvel Studios' Kevin Feige. The finale is filled with ma many great jokes about the larger MCU of Kevin, saying their algorithms make a near-perfect product, uh, commenting on how some viewers like other films better than others while poking fun at the criticism the MCU films all feel the same. Uh, the thing, what makes Deadpool's pokes at MCU Fox meaningful is because we've been wanting Deadpool to be part of the sacred timeline of the mcu ever since we saw the first movie you're like wow this is actually really really good right the jokes on the other hand from um deadpool is actually legit funny right i'm going to disneyland right i'm going to fucking disneyland right and like that that one's pretty funny and then the other one where he says um you know uh Disney's uh, this is Disney's first time pegging right like that is a really funny joke right it's very it's the thing is that we know that a, a lot of Disney people like they 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 suck a lot of dick like a lot of people that work at the, the, the executives the writers of these like shitty ass like Disney movies MCUs even Star Wars like they all suck a lot of dick like and they just really, really and the fact that we get something that's like, all oh, right, this is actually pretty good. It's not like a fantastic joke where it's like, oh shit, that's so funny. It's like a haha, -ha, okay, yeah, it's a pretty funny joke. But the thing is that, like you said, the jokes that was in She Hulk was like, all right, yeah, this is lame. Can girls be funny? Yes. But the thing is, time and place. Do you know what was funny? Bridesmaids was funny. Do you know what's not funny? Train wreck. You just have to have people who know how to write. And the people who are writing for She Hulk are college interns. The fucking woke cock a guzzling dick writers. All of them are. You who the fuck wrote this article? 
Richard Fink. Male feminist name. Male feminist that really, really wants girls. Like, oh my god, what you wrote was so amazing. Oh my god, what you did was so great. And he's like, really? Want to have sex with me? Like, oh, no, no, I don't. No, 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 man. No, uh, no, no, I... No, man, no, I'm not, I'm not having sex with you, man. I'm gonna go have sex with the people who are, who are not bitches. All right, let's continue right over here, man. Let's, all right, let's see. Uh, She-Hulk outs a bunch of the MCU stories convention, like how they all end in the same way with a big third act. Not only does she, every, every movie that's an action movie has a big third act. Even a brainless monkey would know that shit. It's like, yeah, you're, you're saying the obvious. Imagine having an action movie that at the third act, it sucks dick. Nothing happens in the third act. What? What the fuck? Oh, oh the dirt. Oh, wow. Like, who? What? God, man. Not only does She-Hulk attorney at law comment on this, it breaks the mold by having his finale truly be a lawyer giving the closing argument. She-Hulk even pokes fun at the contrived blood magic plotline in Marvel Studios would unironically do in Secret Invasion in the following year. Uh, She-Hulk attorney at law's jokes are not only commonly held critiques of the MCU, but do something different. Imagine trying to do something different. It's because you think that you're trying to set, like, and like lead by example. And then your example completely just shits the bed. Right? Imagine knowing that a wheel works as, you know, I'm not gonna... The wheel is perfect. It's round. It has no edges. It's smooth all around. <laughs> like Jessica Gal's brain. Right? And then you have... Jessica Gao making this, oh, do you know what would be really funny? I'm going to reinvent the wheel. And then your wheel sucks dick. And then you blame the fans for sucking so much dick. Jesus Christ, man. These people are fucking retarded, dude. Deadpool and Wolverine, on the other hand, has the issue of Deadpool calling out the MCU's conventions, but partaking in it. The welcome, uh, welcome, the, the welcome to MCU, you are entering... Welcome to the MCU. This person need, needs to proofread this shit, man. Welcome to the MCU. You are entering at a bit of a low point. That is a good joke. It's because it is. It's... It's because it's true. MCU right now, it's at a really, really low point until, De until Deadpool. Like... I think Guardians made like 800 mil. No other movie came close to even hitting 500. Maybe Ant-Man and the Wasp, maybe like 400, but you didn't even break that. Why is that? The Marvels, was it woke? Not necessarily. It was just bad. Was Ant-Man Quantum Mania woke? Absolutely, fucking Lulia it was. It has a girl who was freaking like Literally a an activist freaking talking about capitalism bad and yet they are making money because of capitalism So stupid so dumb man, you see uh, Let's go continue right over here um, Okay, it uh, sounds like the joke is commenting on the recent state of the MCU but it also feels like a cheap shot because it never precisely says what it means or what entries is calling out it okay richard richard dink richard small dig small twinkie dink you are a writer not a comedian dank fucking god imagine if richard if dick if dick tink which is his name right richard if dick tink was a writer he would have wrote this. Welcome to the MCU. You are current. You are entering at a bit of a low point because it uh, be because um we didn't have good money because 
uh, MCU was actually, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of review bombs. You, you're not supposed to explain why your joke is funny. Make the joke, move along. Leave the jokes up to the, the actors. Leave the jokes to the writers. You are a fucking movie journalist. You are a fucking journalist. Oh my God, man. It feels less like commenting on a genuine criticism and repeating a talking point. Doesn't that also make Deadpool Wolverine part of a low point? Yes and no. The movie is, is coming in at a low point, but the movie is not a low point. The movie, the movie is not going to save the MCU, right? It's not going to save the MCU, but it's a type of movie that will, that will forever be a, a movie that will be at the, at, at, a, at, a, at a shitty moment, there was a highlight. There was a really, really good highlight. Yes. It is what it is though. But the thing is, it, it doesn't make it a low point just because you say it is, right? Richard, like Dick, Dick Tink really, really does want this movie to be really bad. I guarantee he's like, oh, given the fact that they say all of these things, I still give Deadpool a seven. Even Deadpool's comment on being tired of the multiverse and being played out clashes with the film itself, which reveals in the multiverse aspects that allow for returning fan favorite characters. He's complaining about it because he's stuck doing it. And the thing is that he doesn't, it's not like he, he complains about the multiverse in the beginning of the movie. He complains about it near the end. In the third act, that's when Deadpool complains about it. He goes, time out. Can we all stop with this multiverse thing? It's getting tiring. He talks about that shit in the end. Jesus Christ, man. Oh man, they say where She-Hulk attorney at law poked fun at the MCU formula and gave new types of a type of ending. Deadpool Wolverine comments on the MCU's conventions and thinks that it's enough to excuse it for indulging in the same tropes. Oh my god, dude. It's in the third act. He's talking about why he hates it. That's it. Whose fault is it for being in the MCU? The fuck that the, the fucking She-Hulk is it's in the it's, it's part of the MCU in the multiverse theory as I mean multiverse shit as well. It is played out, it is. But the thing is, it it made it work. The writers made it work. Alright, here comes the dancing stuff. Alright, here we go. Here we go. The key difference between how audiences reacted to She-Hulk. Uh, to She-Hulk and the Deadpool, particularly how one is given a bigger pass than the other, is their dance scenes. Uh, in She-Hulk, Attorney at Law's third episode, The People vs. Emil Blonsky, the episode's mid credit scenes feature She-Hulk dancing with Megan the Megan the Stallion with two twerking to the singer's hit song, Body. The clip became a lightning rod for a specific subset of the fandom, saying how far Marvel Cinematic Universe has fallen, allowing this scene to exist and making a whole joke of the franchise. Now, the reason why people are, people are calling this out is because twerking in itself is sexual. Twerking is a sexual dance. Okay? It's like grinding on a dick without the dick being there. It's a type of dance, if you guys don't know what grinding is, okay? Back in my day, when we in high school, when we go to those high school dances, when the girls grind on you, she basically is rubbing her ass on your dick. Now, twerking is imagine if the dick is not there. Just moving your asshole back and forth, right? Moving your asshole back and forth. The thing is, like I said, twerking is sexual. It's a sexual dance. Okay? Deadpool right over here, when he kills a bunch of the TVA members in the beginning of the movie, is it's an homage to the two the early 2000s by him dancing to bye 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 by in sync. And do you know? And do you know what's also cool? This is also this is also the opening sequence to the movie 
the opening credits to the movie and it shows the title card to the movie. Right? This actually has relevance and is well choreographed. Is the cinematography and the shots and the music to this is great. The, uh, the, the the actor that wore the costume that that basically was a double for him dancing to Bye 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 by NSYNC actually did a really, really good job. This twerking was for like three seconds to a shitty ass song that no one likes and it's sexual. Now, if Deadpool was grabbing his dick and like fucking doing like, like he goes like, eh, eh. Eh, you can't see it right now, but like I I'm basically th thrusting my dick. You go, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, it's gonna be funny for two seconds. Everyone's gonna be like, dude, just stop, man. What the fuck are you doing? However, Deadpool dancing was funny. It was violent. It made sense. It's in his character. I. So stupid. This is in sharp contrast to Deadpool Wolverine's opening title credits, which see Deadpool killing an entire TVA agent with the remains of Wolverine's corpse to in sync song Bye Bye Bye. The opening credits also feature Deadpool doing the iconic dance moves from the hit music video. This scene was praised, and within days, official in sync YouTube renamed the song as in sync Bye Bye Bye. Official video from Deadpool and Wolverine. No way! No way, dude. That's awesome. Deadpool and Wolverine has the benefit that Bye 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 is now seen as a nostalgic song. Being 24 years old, released the same year as Hugh Jackman's first appearance in the Wolverine in X-Men. While fans likely in 2000 will have reacted very poorly to the popular boy band in the superhero movie, as time moves on, nostalgia makes people more willing to accept things they hated at the time of their release, noted as by some of the Deadpool Wolverine's big reveals, getting audience cheers instead of boos like in the 2000s. Yeah, nostalgia goggles plays a huge thing. This person is right over here but the thing is people are more okay with it is because it's deadpool imagine if if she hulk did something similar with like spice girls like she did the what's it called again um like she she basically start killing people with um she goes, hit it, yo, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really, like she kills a bunch of bad guys to that song and it goes with the beat and goes with the music. Everyone would have fucking loved it. But no, you have to see her giant fat green asshole twerking to a shitty ass song. I guarantee you if She-Hulk did an opening sequence where she beat a bunch of bad guys up with, oh, oh what's it called again? Um, Wannabe playing in the background by Spice Girls. People would have loved it. I guarantee fucking to you people would have loved it. Nope. And then she could do some of the songs, right? She start rapping to it. So yeah, <laughs> you know. Here's the here day, going to A to Z. You want to get with me, you got to listen carefully, right? Like, if she if she raps to that part while beating people up, people would have fucking ate that shit up, man. See, if one is being genuinely honest, there's no difference on the surface between Deadpool and She-Hulk dancing. Both are fun little scenes. No. This is not a fun little scene. This is. This whole part is. Right? This was like for five, like three to five seconds of them dancing to a shitty ass song. This was like three, like two to three minutes of him doing awesome shit while dancing to a good song. Let's see. Uh, both are a little fun in the scenes. The characters are more comedic nature that fits in their characterization in the comics and in the films. If there is no good reason, the disdain for She-Hulk must be more depressing. She-Hulk attorney at law gets labeled cringeworthy, whereas Deadpool and Wolverine gets to be funny. The boys are allowed to make jokes, but women does the same. They are unfairly criticized. No, like I said, if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Making it last forever. Friendship never ends. Have that song playing in the background. She Hulk beating some bitches off and singing it because she knows the song is playing. She dances with it, beating some dick off, 
People will love it. I guarantee you people will love it. It's not a double standard kind of thing. It's just that it is done really, really badly in She-Hulk. It's so bad, man. Even Homelander hates that shit. Man. Let's see what people are saying, man. Let's see. She-Hulk was cranked out by the uh, Marvel machine and Deadpool has been heavily Ryan Reynolds. She-Hulk was made to be consumed and Deadpool was made to be enjoyed. That's the difference. So many words, so little sense. An apple is an apple and orange is an orange. Pointless to compare. She-Hulk was nothing like Deadpool franchise. This is a terrible take and part of the problem with modern journalism is based in lazy analysis and research. Even the creators of She-Hulk admitted the show was created to antagonize fandoms uh, whereas Deadpool makes fun of the Marvel and Disney itself. Huge difference. Exactly right over here. She-Hulk creator admitted to making fun and antagonize the fans versus Deadpool is making fun of a company, not the fans. And that's the reason why I say has if if Ryan Reynolds, Blake Lively, because she's in the movie as well, Hugh Jackman and Rob Liefeld came out and says, Republicans are cringe. Fanboys of of um of Deadpool. It, it's you, you guys. This movie is this movie is not for you. This movie is for gay dudes. This movie is for girls. Now you guys are pieces of shit. No one would have watched the movie. But the thing is that the girls don't know when to shut the fuck up. These terrible girls who write these movies, who act in these movies, think that they're better than you because they're Hollywood elites. Don't know how to shut the fuck up. So they make terrible choices and the movie sucks. In this case, the TV show sucks. I'm comparing it, dick to think. No girl's gonna have sex with you, man. You, you are your typical male feminist that wants to get laid. Please, I wrote this cool article saying how good She-Hulk was. Ta Tatiana, can you have sex with me? Can you suck my dick? She's gonna say no. I would rather suck a tiny Asian dick than yours. I might have a chance now.